A pleasant day to everyone. This is Mr. Bryle T. Cruz, your General Physics 1 teacher for this first semester. Let's begin our subject orientation for today. Again, I'm Mr. Bryle T. Cruz, your General Physics 1 teacher for this semester. For anything else, I would like to welcome you to this school year 2020-2021. Due to the pandemic that we are encountering at this moment, the Department of Education have provided the most essential learning competencies in our subject. To begin with, for our first grading period, we will be discussing about measurements, followed by accuracy and precision, scalar and vector quantities. For measurements, you're going to learn here the different systems of measurement, and also you're going to learn how to convert. Next, for accuracy and precision, I know in your general chemistry one, you learned this topic. As a reinforcement for this lesson, we are going to discuss and recall the formula and differentiate systematic from a random errors. Thirdly, we have scalar and vector quantities, which are both essentials in solving some physics problems. The fourth topic is the motion in one dimension followed by the motion in two dimensions. For the motion in one dimension, you're going to learn here about speed, velocity, and acceleration, and how they are interrelated with one another. Also here, you're going to learn how to solve some graphical analysis. Next is in motion in two dimensions, way back in you, when you were in grade 9, you have learned there the different types of gravitational motions. Under that, we have the pre-falling bodies, and the projectile motion. Another classification of motion is the curvilinear motion, which can be deduced into two, the circular and the rotary motion, followed by the discussion of the Newton's laws of motion, how are we going to apply it into our real-life situation. As an application for the Newton's laws of motion, we are going to discuss also momentum and impulse together with collisions. We are also going to learn here in the first grading period about forces. How do object moves if there is a contact and non-contact force? Also, you're going to learn here about work, power, and energy and how they are interacting with one another. For the second grading period, here are the topic outline. First is equilibrium, followed by the universal law of gravitation. Next is waves and its properties, then pressure. Topic number five for the second grading period is heat and thermodynamics. Also, in second grading period, you are going to learn about ideal gas law. For the grading systems, you will be graded based on the following. We have quizzes, preliminary examinations, performance tasks, individual authentic assessment, task sheets or activity sheets, periodical tests. Here at this slide, you are going to see the percentage for each component. Written works composed of quizzes which is 10%, preliminary exam which is 15%, for a total of 25%. Performance tasks are deduced into two, individual authentic assessment 30% of your grade, task sheets and activity sheets 15% of your grade, and quarterly assessment which is also known to be your periodical examination which is 30% of your grade. All in all, we have 100%. For these subjects, you are required to have the following. First, a scientific calculator for your computation purposes. Whiteboard and marker for our solving during our Zoom meeting. Textbook or your e-book class, you're going to have it in your Genu account. This will be uploaded by me as your instructor. Next is your official email account, which are you going to use from the beginning up to the end of this school year. And... I want you to download applications like Zoom and Cam Scanner. Let's proceed now to the different rules and regulations. First is, students are expected to follow the set of rules stipulated in the handbook 
at all times. Next, students are expected to submit all the requirements on or before the set deadlines to avoid deductions. Third, special examinations or quiz will be taken on the set date given by the instructor, failure to take the test meaning zero to the said quiz. Number four, no one is allowed to do recording such as screen recording or screenshotting. Next, for Zoom meeting, kindly indicate your full name and use only the email account that you are officially submitted on the survey. Next, ask questions directly after each Zoom meeting. Then, in case of technical problems, evidences must be presented to the instructor. For activities or task sheets, complete solutions must be submitted in PDF or JPEG format. That's why I'm asking you to download the CAM scanner or any applications that you can use in scanning or capturing pictures of your solutions. Then, questions will be entertained during the class hour. And, when someone's talking, especially during our Zoom meeting, you better listen. If you have any questions, you can email me directly at cruzbrile.pcshs at gmail.com. Thank you and God bless us all.